guys, what's up? It's your boy, Pixel back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. Today's video is going to be us checking out what is new in WWE Supercard. So, without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Hey, if you're watching this, you're probably not subscribed. You're probably part of the 50% of people that aren't subscribed to the channel. What are you doing? Get subscribed so we can actually get into the video. Thanks. Right then, guys, welcome back to Supercard and welcome back to the game. There you go. Give and take something new. To the socials tab, which Supercard were on about earlier. But yes, we've got it. Give and take. What can you actually do with this? Give a card to, to a teammate and take one for yourself. Choose between a random male uh, and a random female and an exclusive draft pick. Interesting. So this can only be done twice. Also costs 600 credits per attempt to do so. I mean, it ranges obviously from Forge to Road to WrestleMania. That's interesting. That's as well as male and female. Big, big change. This is okay. The way I see this, this is a form of trading, but probably done badly. <laughs> okay, take this with a pinch of salt, yeah? I would have done this differently. The, the the idea behind it is fucking insane. Like, it's so, so good. But I rake had daddy for the idea. It's just like, wouldn't have put, behind, put it behind a paywall. Now, I know what you're going to say. At least they've given us the possibility to trade. Yes, I hear you. I get that. And I'm on your side. But again, you can only choose, choose between one of both male and female and one exclusive draft or pick. Maybe leave, leave out the draft or pick. You've got Team Summon Grand for those. You don't really need those. Like, you can just farm them. So that could have probably been left out. But in my opinion, you want to trade super coins. They don't do enough for super coins. What's the main thing we all spend our super coins on at the moment? Draft board picks. At least I do. But I, whenever I get super coins, it instantly goes out for draft board picks. Because... The more draft picks you get, the easier it will get for you guys to get your next tier pool, right? So, put it behind the paywall, but put it behind the Supercoin paywall. Because then you've got pe you're got you going to entice people to pay or to play more PvP, right? So at the end of the day, the money in the bank cards aren't good. All they are is images. At the end of the day, they don't do stat or even three stat most normal Road to WrestleMania cards or even most normal tier cards of the tier they're in. So, again, the temptation isn't really there to farm Supercoins. My opinion let me know what you guys think of this idea of mine in the comments i want to hear it i want to know what you guys think but yeah like i said the idea is good but the execution isn't great in my opinion but that's all i've got to say about this so yeah like i said if you guys have liked this video be sure to subscribe hit the like button as well like i said let me know in the comments what you guys think of what i said i'll see you guys in the next video very soon Peace.